Marianne, you want to take the roll, please? Mr. Gretchen. Here. Mr. Ruska. Dr. King. Mr. Moon. Here. Mr. Walsh. Here. Mr. Welch. Here. Mr. Cindy. Here. I just want to remind everybody that this is not a regular board meeting tonight. This is what we call our committee of the whole meeting. This is where we get a lot of stuff done that will go towards the board. We will have a special meeting tonight going into closed session just to discuss some uh, negotiations and uh, other personnel issues, uh, some hires that need to be filled uh, before that. So I just want to let everybody know that. Also on the agenda, I'm going to move something around because RB is playing for the regional final. We have uh, part of the sixth man sitting up front here, so we're going to start first with the student association, okay? Student association. Okay, what's the score? Do you know? Okay. 50-37. All right. All right. Well, um, so we have class slipper project still going on. It's where we give um, the less fortunate kids in the city of Chicago um, uh, used prom dresses. Uh, so we're collecting them, and it's going to go through next Tuesday. So bring in your used prom attire and shoes and what. Um, the next thing is we just completed Matchmaker, which happened on February 14th, and um, students really got into it and bought most of the matchmakers. Um, it's where you're matched with students from either your grade or the whole school. And so half the proceeds go to prom and the other half goes to um, a charity. And this year we chose Christine Vassos, who is a junior and she just had a tumor removed behind her eye. I'm and um, just like a little thing about our matchmaker funds, um, some of the money that we use um, towards Christine uh, Vasos's um, medical bills, we spent some on a gift basket for her because she's currently on bed rest and she's limited in her activities that she can do at home because she won't be attending school for the rest of the year. So we um, just got her a gift basket to let her know that we're thinking of her. Uh, we are still doing Spirit Friday competitions. Uh, just recently, a few weeks ago, uh, the Magicals, Magicals Choir got 88% of their kids in Bulldog attire, so they're the current front runner um, and the highest percent we've had so far. And um, they are currently in the lead. Um, tomorrow is the last of our two blood drives, and so far we have over. 75 kids signed up, and sometimes more kids just ask to volunteer. Uh, we are also doing it where parents can donate. Um, if they use the school code, they can go to an outside or, or like their doctor and have blood donated. <coughs> We're not letting um, people from outside of RB donate this time just because we want to make sure everything's secure and not have any problems. And we also want to make sure RB kids are the first priority as opposed to people from uh, that aren't students. So tomorrow, school, sorry, that. Anything else? Well, thank you very thank you. much. Appreciate it. Any questions for Student Association? Go we'll cheer right. on the Bulldogs. Yeah, go on cheer thank on, you. please. Thank you. All right. All right, then we'll go back on our agenda. Do we have any visitors' comments? And I'll start over on this side of the room. Anybody like to talk tonight, speak before? How about on this side? Anybody speak? Okay. Then let's go to student and staff recognition. I, mean, I, I want Pam. Pam, in yeah, Pam. <laughs> I like the better one. Pam was with it. Yes. We have um, a lot of students that we're recognizing. So do you have the? Yep. Who has all of them? Yep. Okay. And some students for multiple awards. So I'm going to call names uh, a number of times for the fine arts and and come on up if you hear your name. Um, we're very proud. There is a regional scholastic, just like you have regional competitions that were going on right now in um, basketball. We also have those in the fine arts area, and so that was hosted at Donners Grove North this year. And they have different medals. They have silver, silver medals and gold medals and honorable mention. The gold medalists that I'm going to name first, their work is going on to, to the national level of competition, so that will advance to New York. So congratulations to, and I'll, I'll have you all come up and then talk just real briefly about your pieces. Samantha Friend, uh, Emily Kedzie for photography. Um, Samantha was photography portfolio. 
um, Marcel Rodriguez, Carmen Sch Schlaubrach, excuse me if I said that wrong, and Sophia Saluri for drawing and photography. Are any of those no? Yes, come on up. Sophia, right? Yeah. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hi. Hi. So she'd be under gold medal at the top. Sophia also won a silver medal, so yep, there she is. Okay. There's um, Anne in the Triton competition, the blue award. So she's going to have three in there, is what I'm saying. She's been okay. um, winning lots of awards. That's one of her three. So right at the top, she should have another one. So hi, are you? I'm Marcia. Marcia. Okay, and Marcia, why don't you, while we're looking for your certificates, why don't you tell us, um, turn around and talk to the camera a little bit. The camera's right this way. Tell us what you did, and then we'll have um, uh, Sophia tell us. So what did you do? You were fashion, so. Yeah, I made a dress out of Capri Sun. So if any of you saw the art show, I think that was the favorite. Wasn't that like one of the best of shows that from the students? It won um, the best in 3D. Very nice. And Sophia, you want to describe what you won for? Because you won in several categories. Um, I have um, a photo self-portrait that I did, and then also a uh, drawing self-portrait that's a, a stipple. So, uh, I don't know. There's a few other things. That's fantastic. <laughs> so good luck at the national level competition. Do you know when you'll find out? No, yeah, I'm not sure. I think they tell us later. Okay. So, um, this is Marcial Rodriguez. So there are, yeah, excuse me, there are so many of these, so you don't need to go through them. Sure. Okay. So, um, yes. 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 we're in the next group of art awards. So these are at the top of the top list. So. I'll keep going, and the civil models, Samantha Friend, also on, so thank you ladies, we'll bring them to you, I'll bring them out to you, okay? So you don't have to. Okay, we have Samantha again for photography, um, Sarah Jane, Jane Gambara, if Sarah is here, Mara Hank for painting, Fabian Mendez for painting, Nina Pelizari for photography portfolio, Kimberly Ringblown for ceramics, Hannah Ropo for photography, Candace Shelbrock for photography, and Sophia again for drawing. Are any of those students here? Yay, come on up. Who's that? Hannah. Yeah, this is Hannah. Hannah what? So, Ropo? All right. So, we're out of order because these are none of the kids I just named here. So, this is the next group. Let me put these down. We have so many winners. Um, we will get this. Hang on one second. None of them are there. These are the awards from Triton. So that's all I have is Triton. Yeah. Hmm. We can get their certificates. We'll have to get your certificates too. You, you have your? Did it? Was it? Okay. Yeah. So we got to. Well, that was. Silver medals. Okay, yeah. so there you go. Mm -hmm. We're going to be a trip. Honorable mention, so I think they already got these, but mm -hmm. please come up and be recognized and shake the board president's hand. Um, Lucia Adami, ceramics, Parley Belsi, drawing, Elise Castel Castellas, photography, Sarah Jane Gambara again, drawing and painting portfolio, Derek Hagen, ceramics, Fabian Mendez, painting. Madeline Muntean, drawing, and Amber Powers, photography. So, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. So, we feel that you want to describe Ms. us? Ms. Bosma, we didn't let Hannah explain what she oh. wanted when Hannah before she said Oh, Hannah, I'm sorry. Hannah, what Hannah, did come you? On up come on up. <laughs> uh, thank you for catching that. I was busy right. looking for her award. So, Hannah, why don't you describe what you did and um, won a silver medal for? Nice and loud, I, Hannah. Okay. I had a photo, it was of the chain and the, what are they called, the spackets or whatever, of a bike, and it was really up close, and it was really vibrant colors, and that was it. I did a picture of someone I admire, and it was Chuck clothes, and it was a bunch of squares done in copy pans, and it was just a picture of his face. It was very large, right? Yeah, yeah it was amazing. Uh, I made a layered vessel out of uh, oval shapes and then put a uh, pattern on top of them and made them into a base. Nice. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. Um, 
Our students also entered the Triton Art Competition and Best of Category in Design was Laura Primer, if Laura is here. And Laura also won a Blue Award. So why don't you tell us what your Best of Design was, Laura? Okay, um, my Best of Design was a colored pencil drawing of runners and it was in inspired because I'm a runner and I was also inspired by my season on the RV Cross Country team. Then you won a blue award, I'm looking ahead, and you won a red award. So, <laughs> my goodness, what else did you do? I also <laughs> did a Conti Crayon Mosaic, similar to Harley, of Taylor Swift, because she inspires me. It's wonderful. Congratulations. Winning, uh, winning in the blue category were Jessica Hubner, Celine Baer, Elizabeth DeMonte, um, Laura again, Lauren again, Sophia Solari again. So those are all of our blue winners. So is anyone else here to come up from that group? Samantha. Samantha, we missed you earlier. You're a gold medal winner. You can get on up here, girl. <laughs> won a gold medal that's going to New York for her whole portfolio of mm -hmm. photography, which is absolutely amazing, and then a silver medal for an individual piece. So tell a little bit about what your theme is for your photography. Um, my portfolio theme like sort of changed, but um, for the one that I submitted, it was more of like celebratory towards like young girls <coughs> and like youth and adolescents and like the way that girls have like confidence and express themselves. So. Very moving. So congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're on to the Red Awards. I don't want to get confused. There are so many. Um, Sandra Lopez, Michael Abacola, Grace Salerno, Samantha Cook, Lauren again, Parley um, Belsey, and Madeline Montine. So come on up if you want those and you can get your awards. So, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Sandra, tell us a little bit about what you look at the camera and tell us what you won your award for. Um, my award was for a uh, design, a design of a best friend, and basically I used um, lines and shapes to emphasize. Okay, wonderful. Samantha, why don't you describe while we're getting this? Describe your ceramics. Um, I did a fish for fine art survey. We had to make a clay orb sculpture, and it had to be a relaxing piece. So. Nice, a nice texture. So congratulations. Yeah, I don't have the rubber board here. Okay, uh, so uh, some of these might have been ah, uh, we got it accidentally. We have the front and the other. Thank you. We will get our act here. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So, uh, and you, why don't you tell us, Lauren, what you won in the red award for? Do you remember? Yeah. <coughs> I won the Taylor Swift Mosaic as a Red Award for the Red Ribbon. I did a painting of a blizzard. It was one of three childhood memories and food. So that's what it was. Wonderful. Congratulations. So we had a number of yellow award winners as well. Um, Tatiana Reeves, Colin Roberts, Caitlin Casper, Alfonso Arias, Robert Yankee, Catherine O'Connell, Melissa Arazara, uh, Devin Noskovsky, excuse me, Victoria Curtin, Lucia Abney, uh, Gianna Bratta, Mary Peckover, uh, Danielle Pico, and Rebecca Burke. And do we have any of those young? talented students here, so we'll do the best we can. Okay, who am I Tatiana, this is Tatiana Reeves, and Tatiana, what did you win for? Um, I made a representation of the uh, well, uh, uh, New York skyline, and it was for a 9-11 project. Um, here you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. And Danielle, why don't you describe what you won for? Um, I made a camera with clay. Wonderful. Congratulations. 
And um, Lucia, do you want to tell us what you went for in this category? Uh, I made a terracotta sculpture of two dogs in the fire hydrant. And I just saw you in drawing class today, so you're in all kinds of fine arts classes, aren't you? And why don't you tell, and what's your name? Okay, Mary, tell us what you won for. I did a face <coughs> and it was an orb and I carved it all out with paint sleeves. So congratulations. Here you go, let's see a head on. Thank you, look at the camera. Yay. And then Mary. <laughs> Mary Penn. We had so many awards tonight that just Mary Penn talk. Well, we, we won, uh, we broke records this year for how many art awards that we had. So congratulations to all of us. Uh, now we're going to move on to world language. Um, we had some, uh, there was a national German exam, national German exam. I, I want to stress that. Um, we had, is Quentin... And Quentin, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Dreilich. Dreilich. Quentin, come on up here because Quentin, um, he is in the 99th percentile. He took number two in the nation. Jesus. That deserves <laughs> all of it. Uh, Quentin, you were in a native speaker category? Yeah. How does that happen? Um, in German. I think, <laughs> like, <laughs> they, they say that if you've been there for, like, a month or something, then you have to qualify that you're a native speaker, and then uh, so then you can't like win awards or something. Okay, it's confusing. It's confusing. So have you been to Germany for? Oh uh, yeah, I was born there and I lived there for three years. Okay. Well, congratulations on being second. So, so Clinton achieved that in German too, and Sophia Kilser was in, in not a bad score at all in the 85th percentile. Is um, Sophia here? Yay, Sophia, congratulations. Out of 546 um, competitors, she was 97. So congratulations. And congratulations. Uh, Cassidy Fritsch, is Cassidy here? Okay, she's not in German three. She was in the 97th percentile. Out of 462 students, she was number 13. And in German four, uh, Katie Maxwell, I see Katie. So come on up, Katie. Mm -hmm. In German four was, uh, out of 273 students, she was 35th in the 87th percentile. So congratulations. Great job. Um, I'm going to recognize orchestras, a, a group of, of young women in orchestras. Um, our choreographer, Rachel Ackerman, are you here, Rachel? She's not. She's got to be down probably no she's no, not she's here. at rehearsal she's at rehearsal <laughs> rachel um choreographed a dance called keep me quiet and it, she's uh in this ensemble with three other dancers um sarah benya jamie payne jamie come on up um eliana Ali, sliz i don't see her here well, she, no, she had to go back and to is game. sarah here no, no she she's not game. here either she's <laughs> okay so they have been chosen for the annual illinois um high school state dance Festival, they've been chosen to perform this original work um, for the whole conference or festival. Yeah. So, congratulations! Nice. Thank you, it's awesome. <laughs> um, and I don't believe Laurence Forberg is here, but Laurence is um, one of our French, she is our French teacher here, and she was selected to, and I won't say it in, Fran in French, but she was selected by the American Association of Teachers of French to present at their 85th conference on how to adapt the Francophone movies to study culture and develop language capacities in high school French classes. And it's an honor for her to be representing RB and presenting at that prestigious conference. So we congratulate her as well. Anybody that's received an award tonight, please stand up and let's give you a round of applause now, please. Um, Mara, I've got to find where you are on my award here. So you won at the Triton Art Competition, right? Yes. And what, what one did you win? I did won you? a Silver Hue Award. Oh, so that is, actually, that, that's in the regional right. competition. So congratulations, yeah. that's, that's wonderful. So you did a painting, so I, yes. I love your painting. Describe your painting to us. Um, it was for a project about lines and movement. It was a field of wheat done in India ink 
with a pen, and um, I washed over it with orange and red watercolors, the blue skyline. Very moving. So congratulations. Is there anybody else that we forget? Does anybody walk in late? Good job, everybody. Way to represent Riverside Brookfield. Okay, we'll start back uh, on our agenda to the uh, superintendent's report. <laughs> we got to wait for the mass exodus. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> They're going to the basketball game. Right? Everybody wants to hear you. Everybody wants to Last one. Oh, 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 so he's going to sing uh, Staying Alive while it's going on. <laughs> up eight, up and you try to sing a big deal. Okay. Up, up 18 with 30 seconds. Up 18 with 20 seconds left? 30. 30 seconds left. Okay, I think we won that game. So for uh, superintendent's report, um, we, we've kind of had to, just so the, the board's aware, and I'm sure you all have figured this out by now, but we've kind of gone off the uh, advisory council <coughs> agendas and, and some of the reserve dates that you have. We have those dates blocked, but what I do is the, the, and the Friday update I put out, uh, the first thing I always start off, start off with is which advisory councils are meeting in the next week, since we're kind of in some time sensitive things related to finances, personnel, um, some of those things. So we've been kind of moving them around as is. So I will always put in the Friday update what uh, councils are meeting the next week. And if there's a change off of an original scheduled date where I sent out those dates, Marianne will contact you to make sure a date and time is okay. Um, the other thing is, for, for your purposes, instead of making this agenda, agenda five pages long, there's some things from organizational purposes that I align with certain councils just based on their headers <coughs> that you might be seeing for a first time tonight. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, a council has seen it. Uh, for example, we have a first read on like a summer pro, uh, camp uh, brochure and the summer school curriculum, some of those things. I wanted to get those in your hands and how I'm aligning those in, in, in my organizational structure and how I'm assigning those and keeping track of some of those responsibilities. Those I listed under those headers and I'll explain those when we get to them, which parts have been vetted through a council and which have not. The other thing is some of those are probably more management than government. So then I won't, than governance. So I, I mean, some of them are just in there because they align with that if the board prefers. And the next time we do this, if we just put them under a separate header by themselves, I can do that. If there's something that a council does need to see, we still have plenty of time before something's going to get voted on. Um, but I just kind of wanted it for a placeholder that it aligns with the different areas of, of how my organizational chart works. Construction grant, um, I think I included this in your weekly update, but Governor Quinn, who is at our basketball game tonight, um, did release about $623 million for construction projects in Illinois school districts. We were unfortunately not on that list. Um, from what I understand from meeting with our state reps and, and state uh, legislators, is those are for more uh, shovel-ready projects to help create jobs. And um, being down in Springfield last week with the high school superintendent's uh, organization, meeting with our lobbyists and with our state reps, um, I spent some time, individual time, with our legislators, and we're working uh, to try to work with the uh, governor if there's another release of funds in March or April that hopefully will make that list. So I'm pleading our case and working with uh, Representative Zalewski and Naibo on that uh, as we speak. Um, What's the balance of the uh, funds available? Uh, they have not released how much is left. They said there might be about a, a 300 million, but it, uh, Governor, Ms. Bilesma made sure she mentioned to the governor that we're waiting for a refund. Right. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, you need to make sure you're working through your legislators to get them to vote to release more money. Is he going to stop by after the game? I doubt it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this was, a, this was a whole nother kind of experience while I was down in Springfield of um, just a whole nother responsibility that aligns with the superintendent's position. Um, 
just how important it is that we stay in touch with our legislators because you know you're seeing just different <coughs> bills that are, are going forward to the house and to the senate and then people are voting on things and and and, and mm -hmm. different legislation and uh it, it truly is important to make sure we're staying on top of those things and, and um getting things passed that will not only help our community but help our schools uh, for example, while we were down there at SB 2073, 47. Senate Bill 2073, which basically said counties where the property values have gone down, um, they would not receive their tax extensions. Now, that bill just passed on the House. It still has to come out of the Senate and, and get approved, and then the governor would have to sign it. So there's still some time there. Um, but that would negatively impact us. Well, I, you know, I read about that, and then there's a, a lot of uh, pullback, pushback from that. It was unanimously voted on in the House. What was the impetus for Senate Bill 2073? I don't get it. I mean, it zeroes everything out. Well, basically, what we were told down there, it was, it was, it was a, a unique situation because you had about 30 high school superintendents, and uh, we were meeting at the time with Mike Madigan, and then all of a sudden, you see all of us kind of look at our cell phones, <laughs> and then everybody was running out calling their legislators because, uh, you know, we got a mass text from the Superintendent Association to reach yeah, out to Yeah, I texted them too. Yeah, so uh, basically the, the thought process is, is that it, it started, I think, out of uh, Woodstock. And um, the, the thought process was with, with the counties going down, they wanted to pilot it just in one of those counties, and then it kind of took off from there. And then the bill was amended from the original <sighs> bill. And uh, being an election year, mm. uh, being able to, you know, promise your, and, and with the redistricting, you know, it was kind of, uh, hey, an opportunity to mm. uh, ensure your play. constituencies that taxes won't be going up. So uh, if your property values were declining, so it was something that uh, we need to keep a close eye on. Any other questions on that? So it was a good experience, though, in Springfield. We'll, I'll be back there in April with the Superintendents Association for uh, there'll be about 300 well, superintendents meeting down there, and hopefully we can get some updates on some of that stuff. The, um, sta the status, then, it's back in the Senate. Um, where does it go? What's the chance that this thing's going to go dead? You know, we uh, met with a couple state reps later that evening, and they said that that could be, be being used to help push through the whole uh, um, pension reform that maybe that bill will, will mm. go away as pension reform, but that's just, uh, you know, hearsay. Yeah, stay on them. So. Thanks. Any other questions for Kevin? Okay, uh, principal's report, Pam. Um, is this the point, Dr. Spinkus, where you'd like me to talk about the graduation requirement study group? Is that what you want me uh, to we'll, do? We'll get to that in, uh, okay. in curriculum, unless you have something that you need to just update the board on. <coughs> Otherwise, you've got a lot of the reporting tonight. Yeah, with the board, so. uh, you know, just to be expeditious, since our <coughs> student recognition <coughs> took a great deal of time, I, I don't have anything I think that's really pertinent besides what I prepared for the other agenda items at this point. Okay. <coughs> Any questions for Pam? 